<laughs> okay, that is one of the songs that I've been practicing this week. I've been playing the violin for, well, practicing the violin for, yeah, a bit over a week now. And um, I haven't been able to practice every single day because of some con oh, this concert at school, but almost every single day. And that's just my speaker. And uh, I've practiced for, I've tried to make it so that every day that I've practiced, I've practiced for at least an hour. Um, it's very scratchy. <laughs> and oh yeah, by the way, when I do practice, wait, I practice with this on, um, just when I'm learning new songs to uh, more quickly be able to see where the different notes are. So I just slip that onto the violin but i also try and remember where the notes are without having this on i just put it on like that and then i secure it in the back i can't remember if i showed you that in my last video or not but yeah um it's very scratchy especially the a string because i mostly practice the d and d string so uh, i th i think that what's making it scratchy is that um Maybe it's the pressure, uh, yeah, it's probably the pressure, it's very difficult for me to uh, play by the frog, is that what it's called? Because um, it gets really scratchy, but in general, uh, I've learned to hold the bow kind of straight, at least straighter, when I'm playing the G and D string, so when I, but I haven't practiced the E and A string. As much so when I do play them it's it kind of it goes all over the place um, but yeah um so I'm not quite sure of how much I'm supposed to uh, to uh, tighten the bow because uh, they said that it's supposed to be hard to touch the hairs uh, or like to to make the bow itself touch the hairs but if i tighten it too much it just looks straight i feel like it looks straight even now it's not completely straight though um but yeah so i don't know but compared to my old bow <laughs> it's this is my old bow like completely loose the hairs are completely loose and i don't know if you can tell the lighting is really bad but this is just naturally very straight i don't know i can't remember did i say this in my last video in my last violin video but anyway the the hairs that were tightened uh over 20 years made the bow straight so yeah um so yeah i'm unsure of how much to tighten it if you have any tips on how to practice not making it go all over the place and please let me know i'm also scared i'm maybe playing too much with like my arm because i heard that you you're only supposed to do it from the elbow i don't know um but that's just my progress so far hopefully i'll be able to make it sound pretty by christmas and hopefully I'll be able to learn uh, Silent Night by Christmas as well. Yeah, that's all, I think. <laughs> uh, so I'll see you in my next update video, I suppose. Uh, thank you so much for the tips so far, by the way. It, it, it's really, really helpful. And I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to give me some tips, if you have any tips. Um, if not no worries at all but i really appreciate it like i don't okay how am i gonna put this no worries if you don't but it, i also like appreciate it when people do but like i appreciate you watching even if you don't give me advice do you get what i mean hopefully um yeah i'm gonna go now i hope you had an amazing weekend stay safe and hydrated and full of awesome sausage foods i'll see you soon bye take care bye